The immediate past Federal Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, will be one of all Progressive Congress governorship aspirants for a Doe 2024 election. Dr. Ernest Afolabi Umahie, don't carry in governorship campaign, enter Ovia Northeast, Ovia Southwest and Ego local government to meet with leaders and members of the party to yield them in fresh hope agenda we can get for Edo people and the party if he become the governor of Edo come November 2024. For Ovia Northeast, Dr. Ernest Afolabi Uma here for in talk with party leaders and members of Ovia Northeast Contour say he spent 23 years of in life for Ovia sake of say he work for Okomu Oye and Kochukmat on top projects when he do for the communities around Edo and say if he become a do governor he go improve security, boost agriculture, recruit teachers across the 18 local governments among others. He constantly talk say With much respect, I met you just about a week ago. Just a week ago. And I know what you command. Party leaders and our elders, I greet all of you. I especially recognize the youth and the women. I greet you now. No woman. That is it. And no youth. No man. So no man. So if I say no miliki, no man. <laughs> so I especially greet you now. Me a son of the soil. I started my own career for nine four. Nine four near the day near here, near Kadolo. And uh, Okada is the headquarter of that local government. Now there I spent 23 years. I like to become director of that place. Even some of the people who follow me now, even though not be from the local government, the first person where they introduced, stand up. Where were you born? That is of their nothing. So it's the son of the soil. And most of us here are son of the soil. So when I came here, I noticed a homecoming. This uh, Okada I've slept here before. I have a friend here, Peter Edo Ehato. We have been very close, so this area I know it very well. So my coming today now to tell you that say this your son wanna be governor of Edo State. They say, I don't do many things. I don't give uh, uh, solar uh, uh, lights, solar boreholes. I don't do roads for Nightfall, Udo, uh, Udo Market Road. All those are in this, I know it's this, in this of their, although that is of their not in, uh, It's in this constituency. Yes. I have done a lot across uh, the whole senatorial district. So, but what I want to talk is, I not promise anybody before I do those ones, and I not say any other any obligation to do one. I don't empower many farmers with implements, with seedlings, and with uh, some we have even developed their farms by clearing for them before they plant. So I don't do a lot without promising anybody. Now when I don't come, my own is to now make promises, which I must fulfill. I did without promising. So now when I promise, I'm not gonna do. I don't think many of our farmers are not the people farm. Yes. That one will be a thing of the past. Yes. My doctor of philosophy, my PhD, now on security studies. Security and strategy. So you know what you go do about security, you know, feel the talk out for public. That is why it's security. And we have plans, we have strategy to ensure that everybody return to your farm and return to your house and sleep with your two eyes closed in this state. 
my farmers, all those who farm, who farm here. This one, uh, if I get this nomination and get to Usadebe Avenue, it becomes for all farmers Nigerians. I think so because me now somebody went down seat over Ministry of Agri at the federal level as permanent secretary for three years. I did that. I'm not the only that one with my experience in agriculture. I tell you, I did NIFO for 23 years. So, we talk and say, farm, we are going to revolutionize farming again. Agriculture will be revolutionized. What, is, what am I going to do? You will get tractors. We will hire tractors and make and prepare your land for you. You have tractor hiring centers. And as I don't talk and always and always, in the north, you know why they get food passers? Mm -hmm. They they farm all year round. No dry season, no rainy season. So waiting with lack of now water, and we get plenty water bodies. See of the river. Even if you dig here now, water will come out. So we're going to go fully to irrigation. We go prepare farmers into flocks and make sure their farms are irrigated. We create some clusters for them, and all year round, farmers go farm. And once you farm, food go bubble everywhere. And we also reduce farm losses when you get the uh, farm agriculture because you have no protest centers. We go create more protest centers. We don't protest centers. We go add value to your farm products. So that from there you get ready-made markets. We connect farms, farmers to ready-made markets. And of course the roads, are the roads. But I will do more and connect farms to markets. Those are rural roads, rural development. And uh, our schools now, the problem now teachers. We go recruit teachers, we go continue to train and retrain them. We'll get more teachers. For head, we know the problem. We don't need much. We have to have, we have to have small head, primary health care centers, and have well equipped uh, staff and well trained nurses and doctors in those clinics. For our women, where would they come just now? My wife said, "What you go talk? What you go do for women?" I said, "Well, I don't go around the whole days of your nurses." I never see any lock-up uh, market to lock-up stores. They don't even have where to ply their trade. We are going to develop markets, where secured lock-up markets. And every woman will go give you access to finance so that you can get money and do your business. <laughs> and I'm going to take skill use. So that with whatever skill you have, all you now need is more money to ensure that you create your enterprise. You be able to recruit more youth into your business. So these are many, many, many more that I get for this book. For those where you go feel look, get time to look at, we go leave some copies here. So anyway, it will. <laughs> everyone for listening to me and for creating this uh, opportunity to interface with you all. You know we have very tight schedule and uh, even Cham Chama Che was already pitching me that you are late for the Gobazua. I said no, now you delay me. So we, I, I don't talk too much, Joe. Me not sure person. So once we enter, now I show, I show, I show you know the thing. APC Chemo of your Northeast local government, Oscar Agedo, Vincent Osa Uwadia, and other leaders for Ovia North for their response. Contact say, I want to assure you, I want to assure my people, like you said, very just now, I knew you. In less than one week, I want to tell you, my people, he's a good man. Thank you very much. Come on. And I want to assure all of us, having worked and stayed in life for 23 years, the goal should show 
that is the song of Obiano. Yes, sir. And to that extent, a room, my ass one more, no, yeah, you or I knew it, or me, yeah, you were, and my ass one more. Are you done? I'm on your day, almost on a little jolly, a little bit of a little as well. We wish you well, sir. You know your journeys, and it has clearly shown that you would have been a nice day. A man of that's my campaign already. Only when you have a respect, no, yeah, it's just a little one who you for it well. As you have shown respect to us. That's the result you get in hundred fold. Amen. And what we are showing you as a family. Of the analysis, we are families. Yes. We we'll meet and we we'll always review issues. And on that note, we we'll pray in our assessment. It is already clear and it has shown that of all the aspirants, we are one of the finest. God bless you. And many of the first two, when you study this, you will decide if your message is here. And I believe you. Believe me, every authority she may say is of this document. But you know why? He has administrative experience, he has the influence, he has what it takes, the energy. So take a go to the next level. Ah, uh, Papa, we thank you and we really appreciate your message. Uh, in this message, now, uh, we don't need a good soup or a soup to take a that to just to cut and straight and stay calm. So we don't hear everything you talk. My aspirant, Dr. P.A.D. Oda, Ernest Afulabi, I welcome you to our general office local government. Madam, I welcome you to our fear. Because I deliberately, because of you, went there to say no woman. So that when you get there, you know that we have women in our fear. A fair notice is the only war. The only local government is saying that most of the war. When we fall for you, no fair notice, you don't need to go anywhere. Come and go. From here to Agbanikaka, I will get her. From here to Agbanikaka, I will get her. Have you heard of Gilegele that has been built in Seaport? The biggest seaport in Nigeria. Have you not been so? Everyone who will make it. Now we still get that. So it is the biggest local government and the largest in the state. Your antecedent is not in doubt. As a PS, you tied a lot of roads. I am aware. I was wondering how can a PS be doing road? Yes, yeah, so they now told me it was an agriculture and full security. That's okay. In that area, of that has the largest land. When you come, agriculture should be a problem. Yeah. If you can do this as a civil servant, when you become the governor, I'm sure this guy will be our limit. Nobody big agent. We want to say that you are welcome to our here. Uh, when the chiefs are down, you can count on us. We will support, we support your aspiration, knowing fully well that to whom much is given, what to say. When we vote for you, you will vote for us of here. From Ovia North East local government, Dr. Ernest Afolabi Uma here with in campaign train Kokare Waka enter Ovia Southwest local government area to young the leader and members of APC about in fresh up agenda when he get for Edo people. Leader wait and that for Ovia Southwest to receive Dr. Ernest Afolabi now APC Chemo Ovia Southwest Ima Ogbomo. House of Assembly elects Sunday Agedo, Honorable Okpame, Honorable Monday Ahigobayi, among others. Please let us rise to pray. Our Father in heaven, the creator of heaven and earth, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for the life that you have given us. We thank you for your son that has come to see us, Dr. Ennis. We thank you for his estourage and their safe arrival. 
We thank you for the life of every member of APC in Ovia Southwest. We thank you, Lord, for giving us breath in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Baba God, we are here to receive our brother, Dr. Ellis, as an aspirant in this race of, for governorship. Baba God, he has come. May this meeting be a fruitful one in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We we'll declare that today, good things will continue to happen in Edo State and in Ovia Southwest. We declare that as we have all come here today safely, we will all return back home safely in Jesus' name. For in talk with the leaders and members of the party, Dr. Ernest Dafolabi Umaki Ekontoxi. I be retired permanent secretary from several ministries. I don't do one for budget and national planning. I don't do permanent secretary for office of head of service of the federation. I don't do permanent secretary for works and housing. And my last part of all now, permanent secretary, agriculture and rural development before it became agriculture and food security. But before I go Abuja, go hold all this position, including positions of director, in several ministries for Abuja. Now, nine for here, your backyard here. And there I start my career. Nine for for 23 years before I rise to position of director of finance and accounts. So I be proper homeboy. Now, this of here, I don't stay for 23 years. And so I know of here very well. And I know what I have done to the indigenous of evil this of ya. By my posting and career, I get more benefits and I brought plenty of projects from Edo State. Of ya Southwest, go to Udo Palace Road. That was my project. I stop projects every year. All over Nigeria, I have done several in Obia Northeast, uh, in your war. Even the knife, or if you go back to knife for today, check all the rules. Now, me do them. The street lighting, you see all over knife for me. Jealous man. And this one is across all the zones, all the senatorial districts. I have done the same in. If you go to Oredo, you see a lot of my roads. In GROA, in uh, uh, Ogbazu site, a lot of them. Ubawa, Iyowa, uh, uh, okay, uh, even Robert Research. I don't know how many of you know Robert Research. Is yeah, no, no. I did a lot of work there and street lighting. But let me leave all the work where I don't do now. Now, what I want to do next? So I come tell you and I say, I want to run for governor of this state. There you go. There you go. Now, you know, my people, my brothers, my fathers. So I come tell you now today, say, now me be this. I know all those work where I do, I don't promise anybody. Say, I go do work before I go. So if I don't make any promise and I do work, now when I make promise, I don't go do. I go over two. That is action for me. Man will be action, action, and action. So we go do roads, rural roads, more of them, and ensure that our educational system functions by getting more teachers, training and retraining them. Then agriculture, which is my very strong point. I know there are a lot of cocoa farmers and other tree crop farmers in this local government. I recognize that cocoa is well seated in this local government. So we are going to promote the cocoa farming very well in this local government by revolutionizing agriculture and mechanizing it through technology. So if you have tractors, which I will establish, tractor hiring service all over the local government, anybody can go, hire tractor, and ensure that you are able to prepare your land. 
The greatest problem about farming is land preparation, especially those of us in the rainforest zone. We know that. So if that is out, you've solved 50% of the farmer's problem. And we ensure that we bring improved feelings for them to plant. And these days, from our research, in three years, local countries should start production. And you are in a plantation. So my people, I also know that the women, as we speak, are not empowered to the extent that the problem really is lack of access to finance. We should be able to ensure that our women get some finance to ensure that they are able to do some marketing and small, small enterprise. We will promote that one. And I don't see big markets around where you have lock-up stores. Those modern markets. I will give you now one here. By the grace of God. And the youth. We are no longer talking of uh, youth empowerment, youth empowerment. We want youth to be well empowered with their skill. And we give them uh, access to credit. And they establish small, small enterprises. The youth will now even be recruiting youth. So we want to make sure that we are able to empower the youth and they have their enterprise. Those who are farmers, we support them with all inputs. I can see this from uh, the youth farmers, young farmers, and I know what the empowerment has done to young farmers in this state. Separately, I have organized them, I have given them inputs to even to the women, we had had a farmer program where we distributed a lot of farm inputs. So in all this, what I'm saying is that we are going to do more if you give me this opportunity. So they say the reward for hard work is no more work. So my daddies and mommies, my brothers, sisters, my children, please, my appeal is that you give me this opportunity for more work. APC Chemo of your Southwest Local Government, Ima Ogbomo, Honorable Monday, Ahigo Bayi. And other leaders can talk to Dr. Ernest Afolabina, better person, sick of them no and well, when in day of year, they can still talk say. By the special grace of God, if there's a proper plan and planning, you will get the ticket. Yes, you are in Ovia Southwest, the home of APC and the local government of APC. In the past election, we won right from the presidency to the last election. We, 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 we'll be doing it before. So you are coming, you are too. I know you were, you were still serving. May God bless you. I know your persons. And I know the kind of things I believe you will do. I just speak to God. And God should give the leadership of the party upstairs there to work on you. We, APC is a party, it's a leadership party. We respect party leadership. And uh, by special grace of God, also, you will never regret your outing. So you will get the tickets. APC, Dr. Ernest, you are welcome. I must say frankly that this man is a good man because I know him. Yes. I worked in life for 10 years. The wife is, was my student. I know her very well. I know that when you were there, you organized the life for the country and very well. So I cannot forget you. So the man that was sincere 10, 20, 30 years ago, he is the same person today. Whoa. Let us do everything possible. Okay. 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 We know those that can walk, we know those that cannot walk. The only thing is that we are aware that we are party people. Whatever the party decides at last, there we stand. Thank you, God bless. Uh, Doctor, sir, you have done well as a civil servant. Why we are happy is that there is no secret that politicians know that the civil servant don't look better. 
because they are the people that will root whatever you want. Even if you want to be a performing executive, whether minister, whether president, whether governor, without the cooperation of the civil servant, you can't do anything. That is why the one that have tasted the fed, you know, to, to become a federal family secretary. I think in the old of our we are not close enough to about five. People like the Moyegu, those are super, uh, I say. Even another uh, man from Nanford uh, who was also the one director one time, Dr. F.A.S. Mota, happened to equally be from this environment, my village in particular. So it's not an easy thing for you to excel without blemish to that capacity. Uh, we know that the party is supreme, but we are also begging the party to take the decision that will not be limited to the generality of the Because there are two stages to election. One is the party ticket. The second one is the real victory. For Obaseki has his pretty second tenure. Does that mean it was your return on the post? People competed with him a lot. On that, we must bring a sellable. Sellable. Because the, because the leaders we are talking about they will be the police unit, that will be the police unit. They could go beg all of them. Make them take decisions when all of us will agree on or else we will not go back to Israel again or... To anybody that what is all society to effect the this of prevailing order but as of all what effects on education this man said education will be the bedrock of his administration that was the toilet <laughs> a man that understand that when you produce a, a, an agricultural product in the farm and the road is not valid for you to bring your product out we have perishable goods and not perishable goods. However, if your goods are tomatoes and the road is bad, and then apple to fall, and you have tomatoes out, the man that understands that the farm will be good. This is also a man that knows that the farm is The campaign train Costi Kariwaka enter a go local government area of Edo State where Dr. Ernest Afolabi Omakie come meet with the party leaders and members to yarn them of your ambition and the plans he get for Edo people and the party. I have uh, been with uh, 9 4 
for over 23 years. I rose to the position of Director of Finance and Accounts at NIFO. Before I moved to the mainstream Federal Civil Service in Abuja, there I have served as Director of Finance and Accounts, Federal Minister of Sports, Federal Minister of Defense, Federal Minister of Foreign Affairs. I was supervising the entire oper account operations of the 116 diplomatic missions abroad. So I'm a certified diplomat. I'm not just a diplomat, I am a chartered accountant by training. I'm a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria. And when I was appointed permanent secretary, I have transversed the Ministry of Budget and National Planning. That is the Federal Ministry, Budget and National Planning. From there, I moved to the Office of Head of Civil Service of the Federation. So I've also been a top administrator at the federal level. Yes, that's class permanent secretary. You know, in those days, there used to be a super permanent secretary. But now, he has been named the first class permanent secretary. Because from there, I moved to works and housing as permanent secretary. I didn't end there. I was now made permanent secretary, federal minister of agriculture and rural development that is now known as Agri Federal Minister of Agriculture and Food Security. So in my sojourn, I have gained tremendous experience. I have gone through the system. In, in my service career, I have interfaced with foreign diplomats, with governors, because I was also secretary to National Economic Council, where decisions are taken for the economy of this country. All governors are members, and the vice president is the chairman. I was the secretary. I've also had some major experience dealing with uh, the development partners and the organized private sector and international uh, NGOs, that is international non-government, uh, governmental organizations, and of course, the NGOs, the local ones. So I have had this very experience at the top echelon of government. So in all this, I had opportunities to do something for my people. I have done several projects across Edo State. Roads, street lighting, boroughs, women empowerment for farmers, I have built markets. I have Done, I have also built some processing means for our people, like rice processing means. I've cut across a lot of projects, people for youth and women in agriculture. Here I am today, making promises that if I get into the government house and become the governor of this state, that is if you give me the opportunity, I will do hundredfold of what I have done. Because it's a bigger office, and I have said my motto is uh, the least I have done, the reward for it, for hard work, is to give me more work. So that I will work more, I will work more for you. I will place governance on the party structure. We must recognize our leaders. Because without APC, without the party, there will be no election, there will be no... I cannot go into that government house. So I recognize you all, leaders, that you will be pivotal to my success in the forthcoming election, in the primaries, and of course the general election. And even when I'm in government, you will be very pivotal to the success of our government. APC Ego Local Government Chemo Emmanuel Iyase and Eribo Crosby Contalk say Dr. Ernest Afolabi walk past some people with them, say they be governor, and say they don't hear about them well. well. There's a mandate that goes in the beginning to say, Oh, I'm in the beginning, I will go. Oh, wow. And the group responded by saying, Whatever you will want to support me, we will provide that we are protecting My brother, my friend, I call him Fola. For those of you that don't know, I call him Fola. 
It's a short for Afolabi. He's an echo back, like me. We are going to an election. We have to be prepared. APC has to be prepared. And one of the things when they go use George Jones, by your sea, as a strong bridge. I'm telling you, we cannot afford to make any mistake this time. For those of us that were in the trenches for four years, G14, when the master did the work with you, thank God they are all alive and safe today. We talk. You see, one come with the concept. I tell you. Get those words from me. His heart is clean, he's humble, he's human, he can do the job. We could not forget, say, as we see him, now so we did talk him. We know they take blame. From Benin City, Ekata Ojesele, TMC TV News. <laughs>